Hello world, welcome back. I had a very interesting discussion with a good friend and senior engineer about how sometimes the buy keyword can seem like magic in some advanced scenarios in Kotlin. This sparked the idea behind this video to cover the basics of the buy keyword first. So let's make it simple. In Kotlin, every variable has an implicit getter and setter. For example, when we have var hello equals hello as a string, and later, later we access the hello variable, we actually invoke the default getter that gives us the original value. The same applies when changing this property. We invoke the default setter. It goes without saying that in the case of a val, there is no setter, uh, so only the getter applies. We also know that we can override that getter and setter for example, like so, for this value. We never return the negative number here. We only turn zero if it's negative, otherwise we actually return the actual field. With that introduction, let's see the by keyword now. In Kotlin, we can use the by keyword to delegate the getter and setter of a property to another object that we call the delegate. So basically, when we write var my string that's a type string, and we say by delegate, we basically override the getter and setter of my string with a delegate object. You can think of the word by in this case as my string will be now provided by the delegate, as very beautifully mentioned in this Stack Overflow comment. Now, in order for this delegate to be able to override those getters and setters, it needs to adhere to a specific contract not in the form of an interface, but they need to provide a get value function and a set value for, va for vars. I will borrow a simple delegate implementation here from the Kotlin docs so, so that you can get an idea. Of course, this is the way to implement your own delegate and you can do it. For example, here we return the value, but we also say thank you for delegating and we also say that this value has been assigned every time we set the value, so something very simple. You can do that, but in general, most of the times you do not create one, but you will use one of the standard Android delegates. For example, you may use lazy, by lazy. This basically creates the property only once you first read it and after that, it returns the same value for the rest of the variable's lifecycle. It uses the by keyword to delegate the read and write of your property to the lazy delegate. Also, if you've been following this channel, you might also remember the by keyword from the video on composition over inheritance, which showed a way to delegate the implementation of an interface to another object which is one of the strongest Kotlin tools that you can use to write cleaner code. If you want to refresh that knowledge, I will have linked that video down in the description below the like button. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.